What is going on, you bunch of bloody legends? I'm just driving down to the workshop now to meet up with Lockie, and uh, we're gonna be doing an installation video for you guys today. We're going to be installing a set of lift up windows from the Land Cruiser company. We're gonna be installing them into our 80 series Land Cruiser, believe it or not. So basically what the lift up window is gonna do is give us better access to the cargo area of this old girl. So at the moment, we've got solid glass windows in there, so they're not even sliding. So you really can't get any access into the car at all. Even the sliding windows that come out in these models, they don't really allow for great access into there. You're kind of just like squeezing your way through. The lift up windows open up the whole space and they're gonna give you the access to get anything out of that cargo area that you really want to or set up the space to work with a lift up window maybe. It doesn't look like you need any specialty tools to get the job done, which is really awesome. It's definitely something that you should be able to have a crack at doing yourselves at home. So we're pretty excited to show you guys what it's all about and show you how to get the job done. Okay, I said we're not putting a hammer to the no. Land Cruiser windows. What are you doing? I watched a YouTube video and this is as they said to remove them. <laughs> Him with a hammer, real hard. That's not how you do it, man. Then you just go. Yeah. Oh, you well, now that we've got past those shenanigans, we're gonna run through the unboxing, show you guys what you get for your money from the cruise company, because there's some quality gear inside this box. And then we're gonna show you guys how to install it onto the 80 series Land Cruiser. Following some of these steps may help you if you've got a Nissan Patrol, if you've got a late model cruiser, because they do these windows for a bunch of different yep. cars as well. Why are we going lifted up windows? There's obviously the accessibility side of things, but what we're planning to do is put a rear bar system from the from the cruiser company on the Land Cruiser. And what that will have is a jerry can holder over this side and a spare tire carrier over this side. To get into the back of a Land Cruiser, you have to undo them and pull them, swing them away, basically. So if you can't be asked doing that, what the side entry windows will allow for is basically lifting them up and gaining access to parts of the rear storage section. You basically fold your window up, two clips, up you go, Grab whatever you want out of your car, close it back up. A cold one, a crack can. Some other cool things too is it increases the vertical space in the rear of your car so you can actually stack things up nice and neatly and safely. Um, and the other thing too I've seen a couple of people do is actually install like a little box section here. So when you open, you've got all your power, your USBs, um, your fuses, everything like that stored upright in the side of the car, which is space you wouldn't usually use. So there's no paper instructions inside the box from the cruise company, but it is all available on their website. You can download it as a PDF and do what we've done and print it off in paper form so you've got it handy. Now, I'll put this overlaying on the video now, but it basically lists down all the parts that should be inside the box, the hardware list, and also the tools and materials required to do this installation. done a really good packaging job for all of this stuff so it's really well protected it's all in bubble wrap yeah really good quality packaging so that your your nice new wings can get to you uh, nice and clean and not damaged Myself. Be careful. Sharp edges. Metal. Very jam hand in the door, so. They hook you up with like one million, exactly one million spare keys. So make sure you keep those in safe places where you'll never forget where they are because. Well, you, know, you don't actually have to keep them in a safe place because you've got a million, so just throw them wherever you want. Chuck them around like $50 bills. Yeah. The parts look sick. So everything is really high quality. The main part of the component, the outside bit that you'll see is powder coated three millimeter aluminium. So nice and lightweight, durable. It's got the powder coat on there so it looks mint finished product. The other thing that we've noticed is even just down to the hinges, like everything like this is just really good, high quality gear. They have like 80 series passenger side, that P there. And then over here you've got driver's side. So it makes it really easy not to mess up the installation, just have everything side specific for the vehicle. So we've gone through, we've checked off all of these items. Now we'll show you what tools you're gonna to need to do the installation. So we'll start from this side, we've got our caulking gun, we've got our mastic sealant. So that's the Sikaflex 255 Ultra. Basically it's just a windscreen adhesive. It'd be good for what we're doing here. Touch up pen, so that's a clear pen. So when we drill some holes and you have any bare metal, 
That'll basically put a bit of clear over it so it doesn't rust. Masking tape, drill, Sharpie or marker, side cutters, six millimeter drill bit. We've got an eight mil spanner, 10 mil spanner, and two 12 mil spanners, and then a three mil Allen key. So we've just started by removing the plastic paneling from the inside trim. Same on both sides of the car. It just unclips and pulls away. You don't need any special tools to do that. And then we went ahead and removed the window. So in our 80 series Land Cruiser, they're a one piece window design. They do come with an option of a sliding window in some models. It's the same principle. Basically get a pry bar into there and leave it from the inside of the corners underneath this rubber. And then just work your way around from the corner, have some on the outside, helping pull the window out and stopping it from falling onto the ground and smashing. And then just keep working your way around here with a uh, screwdriver and a pry bar and just pull the rubber up and push the window out as you work around. It came out really easy. With the sliding window models, they have a metal frame around the outside, so it might be a little bit harder to actually pry them out. And to be honest with you, you'll probably damage the metal slider as you're pushing it out, it will bend. So it's up to you how careful you are, but if you just get a pry bar in there and push her out, it's pretty easy. These are in really good shape. I mean, even the factory um, uh, sealer here, which protects the panel, is still intact. However, there is a big rust hole right there, which we've discovered. So just one rust spot, which really sucks. So what we're going to do is basically mark that up, cut the actual piece of body panel out of there, make up a new body panel piece to go in, and then just weld it into place, clean it back, finish it up, put a bit of primer over it. We're going to have to repair that rust before we move forward. Hopefully the other side's not as bad. <laughs> body filler over this now so that's pretty close for a patch job with just straight metal yeah it's pretty close like it's not per it's pretty close like that so that's the metal we put in here and it's pretty <laughs> close when the windows come down it covers most of that spot anyway so the main thing is that we just get a nice bit of paint in there color match paint at some point and uh, yeah we'll prime it up for now though we'll do a bit of black primer on there nicked a bit of paint in the lower section of his here as well so we'll black prime that put the windows in and then uh, get this professionally painted at some point with a touch up. Yeah, because we're getting this fixed as well. Just a small dent. Put a sticker on it, it's yeah, all good. Yeah. Drive tech, save the day. Yeah. <laughs> also, I don't know why we're getting it fixed because it's, it's probably just gonna get damaged again, but. It's a thought that counts, man. Yeah, that's it. Looks good to me. So these are the two weapons of choice. We've got a pry bar and a flat blade screwdriver. This one we use to get into the corners and lever it up. This one we use to get in there and just push the window out. Oh, more rust. Oh no! Oh no no oh, no 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 no! no, no. Right. Well, another repair. Amy, we found another rust hole. <laughs> We're like, nah, this hole will be good. And <laughs> then we take it out, it's not good. Look, positive side of this is that with, with the window in, you couldn't see that there was any rust in this car. And that hole, by the time you would see it, would get quite serious. So the fact that we're doing this now, it's kind of like it's, it's a, a good, bad thing. Lockie's quite the optimist, I love it. <laughs> rust holes! Yeah. You don't have an 80 if you don't have rust in your back windows. Yeah. That's it. That's it. that's how it goes. That's the same. Exactly right. This will only take an hour. This will only be five minutes. It's been like five hours. <laughs> Every time you do something in your car, you're like, it's taken an hour, max. Yeah. Six hour. hours later. <laughs> Three days later. 
<laughs> All right, let's repair the rust hole number two on the 80s. Yay. So a bit of an update as to where we're up to with the lift up window install. So as you guys know, we pulled out the glass windows and it revealed some rust holes, which are pretty decent. So we cut those rust holes out. We replaced them with some formed steel plates and welded those plates back in and then we've just painted over it there. So that's one way of doing it. We're planning on keeping this 80 series Land Cruiser for a long time and we wanted to make sure we hit that rust on the head and just did it properly. You can do this if you're doing a DIY at home, you find a little bit of rust in there. If it's just surface rust, sand it back, give it a light um, prime with some rust inhibitor spray paint or rust converter, and you're done. You don't have to worry about doing what we've done. Then, once we finish that, we got onto fitting up the passenger side window. So we did a test fit to make sure that we got all of the kinks ironed out with this installation so that we could give you guys the best demonstration on the driver's side to show you how to install this yourself at home so you don't have any hiccups along the way. Grab some masking tape and put it around the outside of where the window was. Basically all this is doing is preventing you from marking it up when you do your test fit and when you're drilling your holes. So we've got the destruction manual here. Now step three says to grab part three, which is this bad boy right here, and put it up against the inside of the window and push it up as high as you can into the window area. Now, that's what we did on the other side and it didn't really work out very well for our vehicle. So the instructions look like they're a little bit generic, maybe using different vehicles as part of some of the pictures and whatnot. So what we found to work for the 80 series Land Cruiser is bolting up in the next step, all of the parts together, which we'll show you guys how to do, and then doing the marking of the holes and drilling of the holes. Because if you do it the other way around, you might run into clearance issues on the top of your window area here. It might, the, bolt heads might come in contact with it. So doing it with it fully assembled means that you're going to know exactly where everything sits and where the hinges are going and you drill your holes in the right spot. We'll show you how to do that right now. You need to go ahead and grab the plates three and plates four and piece them together. So three and four. So you lay that one down and then this one goes on with this folded edge up against that one there. We've got all of our mounting hardware in there now, it's just loose. So what you can do before you tighten everything down is grab your mastic sealer, 255, and you can put some sealer in between these outside mounting faces. The reason why we're doing this is because they are slotted holes, so there's a little bit of an air gap there. And when water comes in, it may be able to slip through there even once it's done up, it might still be able to get in. So we're gonna put a bit of sealant in there now just to prevent that from happening. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way as well, so it will mush out the sides. You don't have to be too particular about it or anything, just squeeze a bit in there and let the smushing do the job. So the reason we said to assemble this bad boy as one piece is because you've got your dome head screws on the top and basically what happens is when you put it into your 80 series Land Cruiser window frame, these dome heads, those ones there, they just start fouling on the top of the window frame along this section. So if you have it assembled as one piece, you're okay, because you can push it all the way up, wiggle it around from side to side, get it central, and then grab your permanent marker and mark your holes around your window frame, take it away, and you can drill it out confidently knowing that this piece is going to fit in there without fouling that top section. Woo! Oh, he's done it. Didn't even knock the panel. Oh, dear. So you just want to be Ooh. careful as well when you go through that the roof skin, roof lining, whatever you've got on your car, it doesn't grab that, rip it up. So that's Good why. Good point. If I have my fingers there, just, <laughs> just going through. How's the concentration base? Okay. 
So another thing to note as well, guys, when you're drilling some holes in your panels like this and it's real precision, if you're not as good as local stomp it on the drill, you can get a center punch and punch these holes before you drill them so that you don't wander from your marked hole. That's it. But you're a bit of a wizard, Lucky, so it's all good. I lost. There's two plate fives. This is plate five. There's two of them. There's no left or right, so just grab one of them and place it into the corner of your window frame. Move it around until you find the comfortable position and then go ahead and grab your texter and mark out your holes. And then you need to grab your drill again and drill yourself some holes so you can mount this bad boy into your window frame. So with the holes that you've just drilled, you need to put some sort of rust preventative on there. So you can use a touch up pen or a clear or whatever you've got there. What we're going to do is grab a rattle can of rust preventative, a rag, Put the rag behind the hole that you've just drilled, grab your spray can, put it real close. And just spray straight in there like that. Okay, so you've got your masking tape around the outside. Now you can do one of two things. You can leave it on so that when you fit everything up for your test fitting, you don't mark the paint. We're pretty confident now after doing the other side that we know how to dial this thing in without doing the test fitting. And if you do it the same way as us, you guys should be right as well. So you can go ahead and rip off all your masking tape now after you've drilled your holes. Shazam! Okay, so we've got to use some sealer between this plate and the body. So what we've done to know where to put the sealer is just put a paint pen mark on each edge so we know roughly where to start and where to stop. And once again, don't need to do anything with that. Let the bracket do the smooshing. Basically, these sandwich between the panel and it goes a little something like that when it's all bolted together. Okay, so from the outside of the car, it will kind of look like that. Trick was putting a texture mark on either side. Hello. Where our sealant needs to go to. Basically, we're running the sealant around this inside section here, all the way around. And then we'll do the smushy thing again. All the way to there. Sweet. <sighs> Done. Sweet. So that is coming together really well. So we've got the top piece in place, the bottom piece in place, all siliconed in ready to go. So the next step is to grab the top plate number two, this one here, and put it onto the plate three and four that we assembled before these ones here. Now you need to also grab the hinges. So that's those ones right there, there's two of those. And basically they go through this section here and these are slotted. So you can keep them loose, move it side to side to get your alignment. We'll show you that in a second. Basically just put that on there, put your hinge through. So it is a little bit fiddly to get the washer and the M6 nut up inside here, but it is doable. The reason why we've decided to do it this way and a bit different to the instructions is because those top mounting bolts, the ones in there, are really hard to get to once this plate is on. So the ones that actually mount it to the window frame, up in there. So yeah, once this is on, you can't really get an Allen key or anything up in there. So it's easier to fiddle with this afterwards than doing it before. So Lockie's just got the pinch weld there, the real squishy stuff. <laughs> so we've got a big roll of it. And the good thing is, Cruiser Company gives you a bunch of this stuff. So you've got more than enough to make sure you get around the whole outside and you can trim it up to be exactly where you need it to be. So before we go ahead and put the main lift up window assembly on, we're gonna put this uh, on first, the sealer. So when you put this on, you want to make sure that you put it around the whole outside and where it meets is down here halfway in the middle. That's where your final cut will be. Once you've got it around to the very end, Go around again, make sure you've got it fully seated home because once you cut it, you've cut it, that's it. You can't add more. 
guess you could put a little piece in, but you're gonna have, the whole reason for this is water, stop water, dust, all that sort of stuff. So go around, make sure it's all set in there, nice and tight, and then cut them. Oh, big boys. So Lockie's gonna go ahead and make the official cut now. Happy with all the corners. We are happy with all the corners, all right, Lockie. We're gonna make the cut. I'm gonna make the cut. Dude. It's pretty good. Fitment. Fitment. Oh, I've got the, the opener. You're gonna open. It's the whole reason. This bit. Once you've moved the lift up panel into the position where it's sort of central in the window frame, then you can go ahead, lift this up, Lockie. You can go ahead and tighten up those nuts on the back there. Okay, so the latching mechanisms, these two bad boys here, they go into an obvious spot here and here. So you just use a Phillips head screwdriver to undo the screws. So this isn't preset for this particular vehicle. So all you need to do is just unscrew the nuts, loosen them off, and then do the bolt up a little bit. Try that, Lockie. Too much, a little bit less. Uh, no, I reckon that's good, man. That's good. So once you've got the spot that you need, then you can go ahead and tighten those nuts back off. Now that we've installed the lift-up windows, uh, we can put the gas strut in here now, and that's it. It's a bolt in. Oh, look how bare this table is. Lockie, this was full. Like before and now it's not so full. So, did we mention they give you a million keys with this? Anyway, yeah. so this bracket here is the last piece of the puzzle well. So, it's a folded piece of stainless steel. Got to use some of the mounting hardware supplied. So we've got our M5 bolts. You're gonna need two of them. And on the outside, use the smaller M5 washers, those bad boys right there, because then you can hardly see them and it's really neat and tidy. So the cruiser company have thought about things. So we're just putting a splooge of sealant between the gas strut mount and the window itself because they are holes to the outside world and the outside world can get wet. So we're trying to keep that away from the inside of the 80 series. That's a little man with a little hat. It's a little hat man. Yeah. Oh, he looks very fancy. He does. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> so, so we've got the gas strut mounting ball pins with the nut that corresponds with the mounting ball strut pin and we're going to put them into the location so one on here and then one on the bottom one like a so so you need your two 12 mil spanarinos to do what local dog's doing nice and snug Well, this side isn't finished yet. <laughs> Just a heads up for you guys, we had to flip the gas strut bracket around. We actually had it on back to front, so when we were closing it, you could see that it was a bit out of alignment. So just make sure that you put it on the right way. The right way, which is this way. Free candy. We're like cavemen that have just discovered gas struts for the first time. It's amazing. So you can go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side of the car because they are identical, there's no differences. And then once you finish that, you can go ahead and put all your trims back and all your plastic panels, clean everything up, put your seat belt back in because safety first, and uh, that will then complete your setup. That's it. We'll come back and show you guys the finished product real soon. So there it is guys, the lift up windows finished installed onto the 80 series Land Cruiser. So it's been a couple of weeks since we finished the installation video. We've been putting them to the test and making sure that everything works as it should before we finished up this review. So a few things to note on the lift up windows. What we noticed was a bit of dust sort of sitting around the outside of these seals here and it looks like a little bit of moisture as well. So the seals against the actual face of the lift up window panel are sealing properly and stopping the dust and anything going in 
to the back of the cargo area. So that's working exactly how it should. The gas strut itself feels awesome. About halfway, it starts taking up all of the slack and uh, you don't have to do any work. And pulling it down, there's not a lot of resistance. It feels really nice. Latches themselves are working well. So they're doing exactly what they need to do. You push down to lock them into place, turn the key to lock them in completely, and to open them, push that center button, and it all works. So everything's looking really good. All the stainless steel panels sit in there really, really nicely. The only thing that I would mention that we didn't show you guys in this video is the plastic paneling on the inside of the cargo area. When you start putting those pieces back in, you may have to trim some of the plastic around a few of the bolts that go through those stainless steel plates. Depends on your model and how your trims work. You may have to just get in there with a Stanley knife and give them a little bit of a cut, that's all. It's nothing too difficult. Just need to add some clearance for those bolts. This is giving us now 360 access to the back of the cargo area of the 80 series Land Cruiser. And even though we haven't set up the cargo area just yet to suit lift up windows, we have gone out camping and full driving and it's just been great to be able to jump in the side of the car instead of having to go through the back and lean in to grab what you need from the back of the car. You can just have it sitting on the side and it's an easy thing to grab. We also did go and get the 80 series professionally painted between finishing that video and now. So I'll show you guys some overlays now of the parts that got painted, but those rust repairs, the quarter panel got fixed and also the rear tailgate where the Toyota Land Cruiser badge used to be and there was a bit of surface rust coming through. So just a bit of a recap on the actual installation of the lift up windows. So the tools that were required to do the job apart from the rust repair side of things were all exactly as per the instruction manual. So you guys can definitely tackle this yourselves at home without having the, to use any really high-end professional tools. The installation of lift up windows itself is extremely easy. I actually don't think that we got stuck into the lift up window portion of this installation video until about 7.30, 8 o'clock or even later at night after we finished those rust repairs which is something that I want to touch on quickly again as well. So the rust repairs that we did were quite in depth, welding in some stainless steel panels and doing a whole bunch of work. If you do find some rust in the back of your 80 series or your Nissan Patrol, you can just get rid of the rust by sanding it back, clean it all up, and then use some rust converting paint to stop it from getting any worse. So you don't have to go to the extent of what we've done in this video. Basically, just repair it so it doesn't get any worse. And then once you shut the windows up, the panel itself is sits so low in the window frame that you can't even see anything in there really. So even if you were to use some paint that wasn't color matched, you can hardly even see it. So it doesn't really matter. And the main aim here is to make sure that the rust doesn't get any worse after you do this install. While you've got the windows out, it's giving you that opportunity to basically tackle it on the head. So that's exactly what we did. But you definitely don't have to go to that extent if you don't want to, if you're just DIYing this yourself at home. I'd just like to take a moment to give a shout out to s and Engineering for allowing us to use the space to do these installations for you guys and Worth Tools Australia for supplying quality tools to help us get these jobs done. Without those tools, we could hardly do any of the installs and upgrades that we do on these vehicles. So don't forget to hang around to the end of this video where we have a blooper reel showing you a few of the outtakes from this video. It got pretty late at night when we're finishing it up, so we started losing our marvels a little bit and it's quite hilarious. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're pretty close to 20 thousand subscribers and we really want to hit that number so if you haven't subscribed yet smash that subscribe button drop this video a like and leave us a comment and let us know what you thought about this vid we'll see you guys in the next one so, so we've, we've installed the windows and see they work really well man how is the profile to the paneling that is Good fit, man. that's great fit, man. Yeah, just go up here. <laughs> He got my sweat in his mouth. <laughs> this window install is easy. So easy. Brothers? Yeah, it's in the top. Woo! 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 Alright, so there's two. Mess has never been so easy to clean up since I got my Milwaukee vacuum. Okay, so you should have a total of eight drills hold and all of them painted. And then you can move on to your next step. Eight drills hold. Oh, fuck. Okay, so now you should have... Oh, it's hurting my hands so bad. Break. <laughs> this is the hardest thing you've done before. Hiya! Done all of this. This bit of material can go. Look at that, look at that. Have a 
that hurt. <laughs> Where are you? Because I'll find you. Uh, dude, we, we just had it. Where's that tool that I just had in my hand and put down next to me and now is not here? Where is it? I found it! It's yellow! Oh wow! <laughs> Look here, I challenge you to a duel, my good man. 